Hey guys, it's your girl Bissy here again and you are locked into another episode of Get To Know The Biss and right now I am at the exclusive album listener of Mr. Corey Bello's new album, Beloved. You see this right here? So if you want to hear the music, if you want to know what it's about, make sure you keep it locked onto your screen, like don't get up, don't go nowhere, make sure you keep it locked and follow me. Why you don't do like that? Why you don't keep that thing from me? Why you don't do like that? Why you don't act like you don't know? No, baby, don't do like that. Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy. Why you don't do like that? No, baby, don't do like that. Oh, I want you to know. Say I like the way you joke. I am savvy do the dance. And this week, let me see. Go, 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 go. Baby, you know. Say you got it, no be small. The beat of the meal of sugar, get this control. Girl, I like the way you Like the way you I like the way you dance for me. I like the way you bounce. Yeah. I like the way you bend like so you want to greet your mom. Hey guys, you got this here again. Like I said, I am at the exclusive album listening of Miss the Cody Bella and I'm on the Cody and I'm right next to him, so guys, <laughs> this is Mr. Cody Bella's the Cody. Hey guys, what's up, what's up? We're hanging out, chilling with PC, of course. See, he knows my name, guys. You too, PC. He thinks yeah. I'm cute too. Yeah, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. He's everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, this is the album, beloved, and he's giving me a signed copy. I feel special. You are special. Thank you. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright. How did this whole music journey, how did this whole music thing come about? We started at home. At home. We dance to music back at home. Mm -hmm. Whenever they put music on, I'm always dancing. Yeah. So yeah, but I could go with the cliche and say, "My mother's tongue," but <laughs> that's what we used. So. Who would you say noticed your talent best? Probably in school. In school, so the teachers. Yeah, yeah my teachers were my friends. Oh yeah, and when you was younger and you was dancing, who who was you dancing the most? Who was, what songs were you singing? I remember I used to dance with Daddy Shoki. Daddy Shoki, who's that? <laughs> He's a legend. He's yeah, a legend. He's a legend. Yeah, back yeah. at home. I shouldn't say he's that guy. Yeah, you shouldn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was dancing to Daddy Shoki guy before you the guys. Comments, like, you don't know. I know who Daddy Shoki is. Daddy Shoki is the daddy of the Shoki. He's the daddy of the Shoki. He's the daddy of the Shoki. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah. I see he's a Jackson Five. Of course, Michael had the greatest influence. I used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson. Yeah. I was listening to the yeah, album. I was listening to um, I think it is the one that says um, "Good Time." Oh yeah, it sounds time. like um, like yeah, uh, like Jackson, Jackson Five. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like I was just like, yeah, this is so much Jackson, like for yeah. real. I want to have a retro vibe to you know feel good. That's, you got it. Okay, so let's think about you. Obviously, your artist. You do all these great things. Who or who or what would you say is your biggest and your biggest push to want to be successful? I think, you know, coming from where I'm coming from, yeah. um, you know, you have no other choice than want, want to be successful. Um, my family, you know, uh, drive for a better life, mm -hmm. you know, you know uh, a better story. But eventually, I think um, God ultimately drives me because it's God that puts all these things around me. And purpose, I guess. Purpose mm -hmm. is what drives me. So, do you feel like right now you're fulfilling your purpose? Of course, yeah. I'm definitely fulfilling my purpose. Uh, but, you know, fulfilling my purpose is a lifelong journey. Yeah. How did the whole maybe's thing come like, how did you? How did you? How did that happen? Um, this is walking down the street and Don Jazz was like, yes. <laughs> and I put out, put out some materials yeah. for Don Jazz. And I was signed to it. Formally, um, but yes, I put up some materials yeah. prior to that, and Don Jazzy, you know, got to take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, via some people who you know, produce poetry to yeah. with music. So he listened to it and he liked it. And he was like, Yo, I think you have the potential to be a mega superstar. Yeah. And, uh, you know, 
Good week. Good week. Good week. Plugging in all your lyrics. <laughs> just there, just there. So, um, I understand that, or I assume that as a musician, every piece of music or every thing that you create is like your baby. It's like you're giving exactly. birth to, yeah. exactly. to something. To life. To life. Yeah. And now you're just part of the album and you've put out lots of deep a lot of body, you've got a lot of material out there. And I know that parents were not meant to have a favourite. Yeah. But if you could say which one your favourite, which one I know my favourite. For the hair my favorite. What should you prefer? Uh you go. My favorite is African Princess. Ah, that is my favorite. Like I remember, I saw you. Um, this is the first time I'd seen you. Yeah, it was at uh, I think it was a Maven's concert in Indigo. Oh yeah. And some guy just came out and he sat down and he was just playing. I was just like, what is this? Oh. And after that, I was, I was just I was just banging out. Like I can imagine oh. myself in the kitchen with my husband. I'm cooking and he's like, you're my African Princess. I'm like, yeah. What you fall in love with music? <laughs> it's a sight to behold as well. But yeah, um, if I was to pick a favorite, it'd probably it'd probably be favorite song. Favorite song. Yeah. But I love if you on the album that is mm -hmm. on the album. Yeah, probably favorite song. Well, coming back from way back, um, it'd probably be Godwin. They be one for my hand, but God be win. They be one keep my joy, but God be win. I say. I don't change my name to God. Yes. Why? Because it is such a big song, not just because it's commercially successful, but mm. because it it literally went into every home, you know, like it pierced through every type of demographic wall, you know. I'm talking about religion, you know, tribalism, yeah. whatever it is, you know, it cut across every demographic. But we're putting our visuals to it. Mm -hmm. Which one's first? Can you tell us? Butterflies. I love butterflies. Yeah. I do love butterflies. I do love butterflies. Yeah. Okay, is this the dance? Yeah. You the always give us a new dance and everything. I like this. What? Am I doing well, it right? Yeah, guys? I just pick up something that's very yeah. consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I, I understand that there must be a lot of pressure as an artist, as is a competitive field. Okay. Has there ever been a time in your career where you felt like, listen, I can't do this anymore, like? I'm just tired, nothing's going the way I want it to go. Has there ever been a point where you thought, am I really doing the right thing or I can't do it, I don't want to do it anymore? Yeah, of course, lots of times, you know, all the time. Because you know, um, we have relative success. Before I got signed, it was, uh, it was a moment of like, you know, let me quit music. I was about to quit music, actually, yeah. to be honest. Um, you know, trying it out for like years, you know, it's just struggle, struggle, yeah. struggle. One thing was coming in, and you know, last minute got showed up. Always shows up in the nick of time at the it right does. time. He always does. On time, it's always, oh, on time. always on time. Never a minute never early. Never too late, never too early. It's on time. So, um, all the time, even after I got time, there's some yeah. moments you have like some depressing moments. Um, it happens to everybody, it happens yeah. in every field. So, yes, I, I read up a bit about you, and you do journalism. I'm currently studying mass communication in mass journalism game. school. Yeah. In journalism school. So how do you balance that as well as being a musician, as well as being creative? How do you balance journalism? Because journalism, that's, if I could be a that, that's, that's heavy. <laughs> so how do you balance doing journalism as well as being creative and like putting out your album? Because that requires well, a lot of work Yeah, too. yeah, it does. Um, actually, right now, I'm actually writing my project. Mm -hmm. And um, I just put out my musical project. Yeah. So it's... Very testing, it's been you know, a roller coaster, but I'm grateful like, to God that you know, I've been able to pull through it because you know, I think it's easy as well because I have a passion for it. Yeah, you know, I have a passion for being, you know, for being illiterate, yeah. knowledgeable. You know. I also want to use myself as an example to young people, exactly. aspiring musicians as well, aspiring young musicians that don't feel like they need to. Yeah. Go through school. school as well. Uh, so, yo, if I can do it, I'm still doing it. I'm still in school and it can happen. It can work. It can make it happen. So, um, that also drives me to want to, to finish up. Okay. So, in your career, do you feel like there's ever going to be a point where you would need to pick? And if you had to pick, which one would you pick? Which one would you pick? So, would it be music, journalism? Do you think you would ever need to pick? And if you did, what would you pick? 
Uh, to be honest, it's, it's, music is my purpose. Okay. My calling. And um, to be honest, um, the Corey Bello brand is with or without music. It's about mass communicating positivity, <laughs> mass communicating goodness, sending out positive vibes, being a blessing to people. So, yeah. if I wasn't a musician, or if I wasn't doing music, I'll still be doing it. something that has got to do with you know sending out mm -hmm. positive vibes, whether you know motivating people or being in front of the screen, um, being in front of the TV. <laughs> um, you know, maybe I'll I'll be interviewing you. Maybe interviewing you. I don't look so beautiful. <laughs> So, who is your favorite artist at the moment? Music artist. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like that. I'm a love the shape I I I like that. Why Ed Sheeran? He's a fantastic writer. And, um, I just love his his vibes. His, you know, he's he's a really simple person. You know, you like him better because of the simplicity. You know, it's the music that speaks. But he's a really fantastic writer, that's what I like. He's a, he's a great storyteller. Okay. And we he, don't have a lot of that anymore. Anyway. Are you aware of the UK Afro Of course. Who, who is your favourite or who do you like most in the UK Afro BC? Right about now, Malik Berry. Malik Berry, yeah? Malik Berry is probably. He's holding me down. And I like his style a lot, you know, my little girl. Yeah. Um, J Hus. J Yeah, it's doing good. Um, like, I don't know if um, Stormzy is actually. <laughs> Stormzy is actually. Yeah. <laughs> What's Stormzy? Grand, cool. He's grand, right? Grand. He's grand, he's grand. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like Stormzy a lot too. And what artist would you want to collaborate with? All time. Ah. Mm. That's alive. That's alive. Mm. It's sure. It's sure. It's sure. Yeah. Right, cool. Um, yeah. So now we're gonna play a few games, yeah? Alright. Real quick. You have to be as honest as possible. So this is the I'll yes maybe. So yes sir. Is so there I think a no maybe, yes maybe. No, it's yes or no. So I think what's this? It's my left my right hand. Right hand means yes. Okay. Left hand means no. Yeah, I was born left handed, so my right hand. I'm left handed, hand. yo! Oh, cool. right, right, right. So my left hand might mean my right hand. My yeah. right hand. Please. So, right hand is yes, left okay. hand is no, yeah? Right. So, we're gonna do this quick, real fast, yeah? Have you ever cheated on a test? I'm not sure. No, yes or no? Yes or no? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. I don't think so, no. Have you ever kissed someone and not liked it? Yeah. Just cool. <laughs> Have you ever made a girl cry? In a romantic way. Yes. In a romantic <laughs> way. <laughs> Have you ever taken a picture of yourself naked? Ooh. No, because it's not. I mean, you could just fly out. Are you sure? <laughs> anyway, no. Alright, uh, cool. Have you ever forgotten your lyrics on stage? All the time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Have you ever been in love? All the time. And the one that all the girls, I'm sure that they're loving, or they will love. Are you single? No, you have to say yes or no. Yes, I'm single. All right, cool. So you have to be single. Let's think about what kind of girls do you like. So I'm gonna play snog, marry, and avoid with you. Yeah. So I'm gonna say three girls, and you just tell me if you wanna snog them, if you wanna marry them, or if you wanna avoid them. All right. All right. So the first three: Beyonce, Rihanna, or Kelly Rowland. Um, snog. Really? You want to snog? Yeah. Okay. Mary? Beyonce is already married. Kelly is also married. Uh, what if I they wasn't married? avoid them. Kelly's sweet. So you will marry Ke Kelly and you want to avoid Beyonce? No, I'm not going to avoid So what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, you know, Mario. Okay, cool. The next one you have to. Rita Dominic. Omotala. Okay. Genevieve. But because they're way out of my league together, yeah, like so. Let's just leave them. Just, no, it's no man just... away. It's no, you have to snow one. You have to snow one. You, oh, okay. you have to marry one. You're not playing the game correct. <laughs> You're not playing the game correct. This is not fair. Okay, I'll marry um, Genevieve. You'll marry Genevieve, 
and you would avoid Omicron. I cannot avoid Omicron. She's just unavoidable. Okay, and the last. But I'll be girls. unavoidably upset. The last three girls. Okay. Lola. Okay. Dorcas. Alright. Or Stephanie Coca. Stephanie Coca. Snug man of wood. Stephanie is married. You can't keep on using this excuse. Well, yeah, but they're married though. Like I can't, I can't, okay. I can't play that in my head because I know that they're married. Okay, <laughs> replace, replace Stephanie with Addie Sua. Oof. So beautiful. This is not how you play the game. I can't do this. This is how you play the game. Okay, which one would you snog at least? Um, we so you know. Don't ask me. 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 Don't but yeah, maybe I'm still single because I don't go after married women. Oh, see? Before you put it back at me. Yeah, exactly. Okay. In closing, yeah? What advice would you give your younger self knowing what you know today? Don't grow older. <laughs> don't want to grow older. Yeah, just be a baby forever. Because, you know, growing up has a lot of values to it. And when people see Cody Bill or when they hear Cody Bill, what do you want to be remembered for? Or how? I want to be remembered as David of the Time. You like David of the Time? David's cool. David's cool. He was a genius. 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 He was a I just so asked. Don't get <laughs> Thank you so Thank much for taking time to speak to me. So, yeah, you've been with me, Lissy. Get to know this at the album listening, Cody Bello. And that is a wrap. So, you guys, what's up? I'm Cody Bello, Meg Superstar Boy, Mr. Romantic. Just do like that, and you're watching Get to Know with this bliss. So, you're not getting talking drunk, but you said it's easy. No, I just know that when you do it, <laughs> something will come in after that. You'd be very happy with it. That makes sense. You have to play it in you a have particular to nudge way. It in <laughs>